everyone. This is Brandon here with the Shelby Township Library. Welcome to another Tech Time video. I'm so glad to see you're here and happy holidays. Um, today we're going to be talking about what we can do with our digital photos. We have our smartphones and our digital cameras and all sorts of other devices that are portable that takes pictures, your iPads, your digital computers, 3DSs if those are still kicking around. Um, we can take pictures on these devices and then they're stored on a what are called a flash drive or an SD card or the internal storage or hard drive of your phone and computer. We take so many of them because this technology has made taking pictures so convenient and they look fantastic and we can see when Cousin Daryl is just making a strange face and take another one so we can make the picture just perfect. Um, then the pictures kind of languish on our devices and what do we do? Well, what we can do is use one of these many popular online services to take our pictures and put them on mugs, on keychains, on blankets, on uh, anything you can really imagine. Beautiful wall art, um, modern wall art, well-framed uh, images, holiday cards, uh, wedding invites, baby invitations. Um, imagination is the limit now when it's come to this technology. It is fast, affordable, and it's easier than ever. Um, the library is happy to help you with getting these images onto any popular website in a usable format. This service is being offered at Meijer and Target and uh, Walgreens. Um, it's a great time to be creative and do things with these photos. So, to start, in other sessions we have talked about editing photos um, in our technology time, the one-on-one -on -one appointments at the library. I can assist you with taking the red eye out of photos and maybe cropping somebody out of a picture. Maybe that ex-girlfriend that's sitting next to somebody that you just would like them out of the picture and out of the Christmas tree. Um, I can help you with that and would be happy to. So feel free to contact the library and set up a tech time appointment. We won't be covering that really today, but your device has a lot of wonderful software to really make those pictures pop and make you feel like your own graphic designer. Um, what we will be navigating today is two popular web services. One is called Shutterfly. They are incredibly reputable and they are a, not necessarily brick and mortar service. They are purely online and you can upload your picture to them and uh, probably in about a week you're going to have a beautiful custom blanket or cards or whatever trinket you ordered. The other one that we are going to cover today is Walgreens and they were selected because they're on every corner and they provide friendly service that if you wanted to stop in and get something done, they may have the fast turnaround time that you're looking for if we waited until last minute. So there's still other places like Meijer that you could go to that provide this service. Um, so please pick your favorite store. We're not really playing favorites. They were the two that came to mind here that are incredibly popular. So, your mobile device is already going to format these pictures into something the websites can use. So we do not have to worry about formatting anymore. The websites um, shrink the file down to whatever they need. If you have an iPhone and the picture is doing that fun live photo function, you don't have to worry about that. The uh, website is smart enough to figure out what's going on there. Um, all you need is the memories that you would like to put into a physical format. So, with that introduction, 
Let's get started with taking a look at Shutterfly. When we take a look at the Shutterfly website, I want you to see how it is laid out. This is a very popular format um, when it comes to sales web pages. We're not going to see anything innovative here. We're still working with the wheels, so to speak. Um, we can see whatever promotions they want us to notice here. Um, we can see that there is a special coupon code right here that we should pay attention to and another one. Um, we can see that they are pushing some free holiday cards because we are filming this just at the end of October. Um, I'm sure this will change for the holiday season here real quick. When we take a look at the top, we are going to see many options, but there are more. We can see there's a holiday category, photo books, stationery, prints, gifts, wall art, home decor, wedding, custom calendars, occasions, which is where you would find all sorts of different occasions from graduations to birthdays, um, any special deals, as well as a way to really accomplish some ideas and be inspired. If you didn't see what you were looking for right at the top, we have our search bar, which you'll find on your retail websites that you enjoy. And then you'll see if we were part of any other organization, if you know those large corporations have another branch, we'll see Shutterfly has Tiny Prints and Spoonflower. We're not going to get into spoon flour today, but I encourage you to navigate it. It's a lot of fun. That's going to be more patterns and wallpaper and those sorts of things. It's really amazing what's available now on these websites. Across from here, we're going to see sign in, my projects, my photos, share sites, and cart. So for all online services, you will have to create an account. Um, this experience can be a little bit different if you were to stop into a store. Um, it may be different for Walmart and Meijer since there is a person in front of you and you can pay with that person there. These websites will require an email address and a credit card to pay for service. We can help you with the email address. The credit card, you're going to have to figure that one out for yourself. We can purchase gift cards um, that can be used online at many large retailers. So for about a $3.75 fee, you can purchase an Amex card that you can use through these services. So if you are under 18 and you were wanting to get a personalized gift for somebody, but you didn't want to use mom and dad's credit card, that is a solution. Um, so let's get started with Shutterfly. We are going to select sign in. And when we select sign in, we will see there are some options here. We have not done anything on this account before, so we want to sign up. So let's click sign up. It's going to take us to a very friendly page that is asking us either to continue with Facebook, and if you have a Facebook account, you can ignore this entire section. The great part of signing up with Facebook is you are able to import all your photos on Facebook. Disclaimer, yes, you will import all of your photos from Facebook. So if you have some things on there maybe you didn't want to see ever again, but you keep just on there, um, they will show up on Shutterfly. Um, but it's fast, it's convenient. You're not going to need another password or another account name. That's pretty great. We, on the other hand, are going to proceed with creating a new account. So it's going to ask for our first name, our last name, our email address, they're going to ask for us to confirm the email address. That's to make sure that we don't mistype anything um, the first time. So we'll put that in and then we will have our password and we will confirm our password. 
password rules are the same as many other websites, we will require an upper and lower case, some numbers, and what they call special characters. The exclamation point, the asterisk, question marks, um, anything of that sort. And so we'll see an example would be something like library 021 exclamation point exclamation point. It fits the character requirement. It has some numbers, a capitalization, and some special characters. Um, it's up to you what you use. Uh, you're, if you're doing this on a phone or a Google Chrome browser you're logged in on, it may even suggest some passwords to you that you can just select confirm, Google can know my password, and you can carry on. Um, I always encourage patrons to select a password that is appropriate to the service. Um, password, not a great password for this. It wouldn't satisfy the requirements and your credit card is in this account. So somebody could easily guess this password, get in there, order some prints, ship it to their house, it's going to make for an awkward evening when you find this out. Um, so something a little more complicated would work great. So we are logged in. We can see our hello, Brandon. And Shutterfly is already pushing some pop-ups. They want to be able to send notifications through your browser to let you know when there is a great deal, when your order's on the way, um, reminding you to do some Christmas cards. Sometimes people confuse this with a virus. Um, we're excited, we wanna do something, we just click allow, um, and Shutterfly starts showing up on our computer weekly, every other day, saying, hey, remember us? Um, we can turn this feature off, and if you did select this and it's driving you crazy, we'll cover that on another day. Feel free to stop in and say hello. So I recommend selecting not now. So that simple top there that had photo books and cards and wall art, when we hover over it, we are getting so many different options. It's easy to be overwhelmed, but it never costs for us to click around. So we can take a look and see if we want something a little more casual, like a canvas print. Uh, maybe we want a beautiful framed photo. Um, they do these neat things where they can etch a picture into a wood uh, tile. Um, there's lots to think about and lots of customizability. You could spend an entire afternoon running around this account. So we are taking a look at frame photos and you can see the customization doesn't end. Um, well, finally we're seeing some prices here but we have beautiful modern gallery frames. We have fun mixed up landscape collages and uh, all sorts of things. So depending on what you're doing, you can match the mood. If you have some fun cat photos, maybe modern would look great. If you're taking uh, some grandkid photos and wanna make something a little more, uh, a little more formal, they're gonna have options for you. We can filter on the side here based on the photos that we are using. So anything from eight by 10 to 24 to 36. We can filter by frame color, frame styles, and even the mat on the bottom. So black mats, white mats, round mats. Um, really be uh, specific with what you want and uh, that will make the experience more fun. Um, it's always great to find what we're looking for. So, we have selected the French Institute frame print, something a little more sophisticated for our wonderful picture we're going to put in. Um, we can begin to personalize it. You'll see an advertisement here for the price and a popular program called Afterpay. If we're not using a credit card, this program will provide a uh, split payment plan, kind of like layaway, so you can uh, save at this price and uh, still purchase the product, but maybe get it at a later date. Um, we will not be covering Afterpay any further than this, but it is a very reputable program. 
We can select the quantity. So if we were uh, maybe getting a large amount of uh, items for Christmas, we can select 10, 20, 32, whatever makes our heart happy. We can select the size, the frame color, and uh, frame styles. The matting is the section in the back. So a white mat, a black mat, or no mat. So in this case, we can select a black mat and a white bottom mat that's going to give it this nice little trim here around our photo. And we have a nice brown frame. And we can check our price to see if anything has changed. And we can now personalize it further. We can see we have a layout here and backgrounds. We can add photos down here to really see what it's going to look like and uh, visualize it like it was in front of us and we were working with someone. So when we select add photos, that's where it feels like we're really in a computer again. Um, it's kind of jarring. When we select add photos, we're going to have options on the side here. We will have my computer. Those are the things that are on your physical device. If you have a USB drive plugged in, if you uh, have a folder on your computer called My Photos, that's how you would access it. Um, we have the photos we've uploaded to Shutterfly. We have the free art library of some public domain photos and things Shutterfly has received the licensing for. So if we were just looking for something to bring a room together, that would be a great option. Then we have our social media, Google Photos, Facebook, and Instagram. Google Photos would be the pictures that are stored on the Google Photos app on your phone or on the Google Photos website on your computer. If you use an Android device, you likely have photos in Google Photos and the like for Facebook and Instagram. If you logged in with Facebook, these pic this area will populate with your Facebook photos. So we selected my computer. And again, you can see where it's this real computer experience. And we can see our picture we want, a beautiful library meme of a cat in books. So we select it and we will find it right down here. And you will see a notice here that says Shutterfly only accepts JPEG, JPEG, HEIC, BMP, and PNG. More than likely, your device is working with one of those standards. Um, and Apple phones kind of do their own thing, but they convert to one of those standards pretty seamlessly. Um, so I wouldn't really stress too much about this. Um, now that we have our photo selected, we can carry on to add. And we will see our happy cat reading here and we are ready to go. And there is our fun cat in glasses in an exquisite dark brown wood frame with a black mat and a white border to match. We love it, and we hope that you will too when you receive it for Christmas. But we want a little more. We see that there is a little text edit spot here, and we see there are far more options here. So we are not done yet. We Now that we have the picture in here, we can change the color. We can mess with the frame and see if maybe we should go back to something more contemporary and not that nice brown French frame. Um, we have our pictures down here to mess with more if we wanted to. We can change the background here to make it really, really uh, moody and modern. Lots of different gray and black to choose from. And it's going to ask uh, if you want to add anything, if you left some spots empty, they're going to tell you, we want your product to look great. Please review the following before ordering. A photo or text box has been left empty, 
and please preview, preview your product before you add it to the cart. So, we were so excited we forgot to do some things. We forgot to tell our cat they were number one. So if we click in this box, we can fill it out and we can change the alignment if we need to, the font size, the color, even the style. Um, so you can put any text in there that you would like. If you use naughty words, Shutterfly will li likely reject your order. So keep it clean. So there is our fonts and it is now in our cart. How great is that? And like a perfect sales website, they're already giving us ideas down here for our next great idea. We proceed to checkout and we are going to see that we have one frame in here. It's on sale. We're still paying shipping and handling. If we had any kind of promo codes, those are what you saw advertised on the website for the free photos. So we can add a, a promo code if we have one. They're kind of like digital coupons and maybe get some free pictures, things like that. If we use PayPal, we can log into PayPal and pay that way. If we're using our credit card, we can select um, proceed to checkout. Notice at the bottom here, if we wanted to pick up four by six glossy prints, there are many locations um, about town that we can do so. So even though there's not a Shutterfly store in Shelby Township, they're working with CVS and Walgreens to provide you a convenient way to collect your prints. We are going to select proceed to checkout. We're taking a look here, making sure everything looks nice. I think we did a great job. None of my art has been put in an art museum before. It's always something with the critics. Select done. And we are going to input our information in here. And we will proceed and be almost all set. We'll see that there's some different shipping requirements here. And then we select place order after placing our financial information in here. Question is always going to be, is it safe to put our credit card online? The answer is yes. They do a great job. Many of these businesses are reputable. They're not just putting our credit card information in a folder somewhere on the internet that I can just go to shutterfly.com forward slash credit card slash um, payments slash Brandon Howard slash Shelby Township and find my things there. Um, this information's been encoded um, and encrypted, so it's incredibly challenging for any kind of uh, bad person to find. It does still happen, as we can see with some popular corporation leaks. You may still receive a letter in the mail that says there was a hack, a database breach, something of that sort. Um, you do always take a risk when you select place order. Now, I do encourage everybody to remember that everybody is doing it. Does that mean that you should jump off a bridge if everybody's jumping off a bridge? No, don't jump off the bridge. But also, it's likely safe, and uh, financial institutions want you to do this, and they've put a lot of checks and balances so you do not be punished if something negative were to happen. So, we select place order, and we are finished with Shutterfly. We get to just check our mail every day, waiting for it to come. If you were to have enabled notifications, Shutterfly will pop up on your screen and say, it's on its way, and then it's on your porch, um, which is another handy reason to enable notifications. And you can always turn them off later on. So, we finished up with Shutterfly. What did you think? 
it's not so bad. It's pretty easy. Um, it's very easy to get lost into the details and focus on a lot of different things. But I hope you had fun. Now we're going to go through Walgreens website just to see how things are a little bit different than Shutterfly. And I think you're going to find there's a lot the same. Um, it's a very familiar user experience. When you visit one website, you're developing that information literacy and you're becoming more internet native and so it's easier to navigate. Um, so let's get started with Walgreens. So we'll visit walgreens.com and the first thing you'll notice is a slightly different template. Shutterfly had a whole banner is what they're called or toolbar of information up here. Walgreens is clean. Um, you're going to have to click somewhere to navigate to where you want to go. A uh, traditional way of finding where you want to go is a menu. Sometimes they're clear, sometimes you have to ask the waiter or waitress, and sometimes they're kind of tucked away on those little QR code things you have to scan these days. In Walgreens case, they went for something real clean and they hide it next to their logo in the top left hand corner. When we click on it, their toolbar goes vertically instead of horizontally across the page. But we can see already where when we click on something, there's going to be lots of hidden options in here. So we can take a look and see we have prescriptions and finding care, shop, products, same day pickup and delivery, and we're finally at photo. So they make it feel like that's not a primary experience. However, when we click on it, we will see they're offering a lot of the same services Shutterfly has. We can upload our photos, select prints, create fun photo books and stationery and calendars and posters. It seems endless. So the services are there. We just have to click a few more times. This photo service is not Walgreens only service they provide. So when we click into the photo page, now it's looking a lot like Shutterfly, isn't it? And that's kind of one of the reasons that I selected Walgreens. Once we navigate just a little bit, prints, books, cards and stationery, posters, calendars, passports and gifts and canvas and decor and a same day button. This is the large difference here is the same day button. Because Walgreens has so many brick and mortar locations throughout Macomb County, throughout really the world, um, we can select same day, drive down the street in two hours, and one of the wonderful employees will supply us with our orders. We will see, we still have our fun advertisements and sales and deals, um, and they'll have their examples of things that they offer. So we select wall decor, and we can see, still looking the same, we see they're advertising promo codes here for same day wall decor. We can enter the code nice decor 75. Um, if we want discounts off of photo gifts, 40 best gift. And they will always have an expiration time. If there's one of these that you wanted to use, make sure to write it down as a reminder to use it at the end. So we selected a custom frame we'll see they start at $49 each. And even though the layout is slightly different, it feels familiar, right? We just looked at Shutterfly and we can see there's different ways to lay out our prints by having them horizontal and vertical and eight by 10 and five by seven, our black frames and our walnut frames and our different backers. And uh, we can get started with creating now or so we thought just like uh, every website they want their account they want you to log in with your email and they want you to uh, 
They want a way to solicit to you, send you those advertisements, those coupon codes. And if you already have a Walgreens number um, or a loyalty card, they're going to want that number as well. So let's act as if we do not have a Walgreens account and we will select create a new account. And we'll have to go through the little rigmarole here, enter our first name, our last name, our email, our password, create our My Walgreens account if you would like to. So if you have your phone number and your zip code, um, you can link that. That would be the little keychain guy that uh, you received. Uh, who knows when it may be falling apart in time for a new one. Um, you may never use it and you just type in your phone number on the little reader. So we fill that all out. And now they're asking to verify your phone number. This is just like confirming your email or confirming your password. They want to make sure that the phone number you typed in is the right phone number. Sometimes we get a little flustered. It's asking so many questions. Um, they're just making sure. So they're going to send a number to your um, phone and uh, we'll select get code. And on your phone, it's going to say 633811. You'll type that in there and uh, that will verify your card number. If you're using a landline, you can always continue without my Walgreens because landmines or landlines cannot receive text messages. Um, so that would make this a little bit challenging. Some services will offer to dictate the number to you over the landline and you'll receive a uh, phone call pretty much after you select send and it will say, hello, this is Walgreens. Your security or verification code is 633811. You put it in there and you're great to go. And we can get back to editing photos. So here we are. And you can see it looks relatively familiar. I like that they have larger buttons. Um, it's a little easier to see things. We can select upload our photos and you'll see similar options to what Shutterfly had. My computer, Google Photos, Facebook, Instagram. Same rules apply when you give it your information. It will see all the photos that you have on Facebook, on Google Photos, on Instagram. So it's good to be aware of that. We're going to select my computer and upload photos to Walgreens. Now they treat it more like a photo album, so they're marking it with today's date, but we can change that. And uh, we can select photos. And we can upload photos to Walgreens. And it's anything from our computer or USB drive because that's what we selected. And it's a little bit different than Shutterfly, isn't it? It's asking us to drag the photo here. Shutterfly had a bar along the bottom to select. So we will need to left click and hold to drag the photo here. And we will have a beautiful historic photo of Michigan. And now it's offering us to make any changes here. Maybe we want to select two different pictures and have a little side-by-side -side thing that would look perfect in some kind of family room. Add a little bit of a little bit of history to it. A little more mature than cat photos. But first, we want to add an embellish to it. That's a unique feature that Shutterfly was not advertising as strongly. Walgreens is excited that you could throw some baby uh, giraffes on there or different things. We would love to have a little flower on our photo because we don't want to be too stodgy, right? Um, we're still having fun. There'll be all sorts of different embellishments here. You do not need to select any of these. We just select some because it's fun. 
We can change the matting just like we could in Shutterfly. In this case, we selected a white background with our walnut brown frame. And we removed some of those embellishments for the decision to add two four by six photos here. I think it's gonna look really nice and will be a great gift. So we uploaded another photo and we have a Macomb and St. Clair historic image as well as a uh, historic uh, Michigan photo here, a nice map. And you can find these on the uh, library uh, catalog. You can search for historic photos. These ones happen to be from Shelby Township's Historic uh, Society. So we select order, and now it's looking familiar again. We can pick up our order, however, at any fine Walgreens establishment. So this could be great if you were living in some kind of retirement community, an apartment, or you just really are concerned about your packages and don't want people rummaging through them. as seems to be a thing from time to time. So you can pick it up at your local Walgreens. It's important to note here, if you had a family member or a child you wanted to send in to pick up the package, you can select, I would like a friend to pick up this order and input their name. When you put in your zip code, it's going to list all of the Walgreens in the area. And uh, there will be a disclaimer here that says, this is not available for same day pickup. It may take a few days for these and they will provide an estimated pickup time. Remember, the closer you get to a holiday, the busier they are, the less likely that this time is going to be convenient for pickup. Um, as more people are doing custom photos. Then we're going to see that familiar credit card payment screen here. There is not the option to pay for this at the store. Sometimes there can be, um, but generally it's going to be for just the simple uh, four by seven prints. Um, if you find that this credit card feature here is a uh, um, something that's kind of in the way, again, you can purchase that uh, usable cards for online purchases at any of the big retailers. And we'll see the disclaimer here for Walgreens. We require payment for ship to store orders and same day pickup orders over $35. So, what did you think? Did you learn some of the differences and similarities between these experiences? If we were to select other vendors like CVS or some of the other uh, high-end uh, photo uh, websites, I think you'll find they're very much the same. Using online resources like these photo um, websites is a great way to develop some confidence in navigation, in internet exploration. Just like it's really great to visit Walmart and Target and Best Buy websites to see how they're the same, yet different. And once you explore enough websites, you're going to be an ace at exploring um, any online website. And when you run into a problem, I hope that you will give Shelby Township a call and we'll be happy to help. Well, we're near the end of the year here. It's the holiday season. I thank you all for having such a great time learning with me here. It's been a blast, and I look forward to uh, more web videos with you in 2022. Thank you, everybody, and have a happy new year.